Is it flying the Spanish flag? No. Could be American. Or French. Hey, maybe it's Napoleon. I, it doesn't <laughs> matter. King's orders. If they're not Spanish, they can't come in here. Load the cannon and fire when ready. Aye, aye, Capitan. <laughs> well, whoever they are, they're smart enough to stay just out of our range. Fire again! a distress flag. They're coming ashore. Are they armed? I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that one. He's got enough medals on his chest to sink that ship. I bet it's that Russian. Russian? You know the explorer? The one the king calls the Columbus of Russia? He probably thinks he's in China. <laughs> well, if it's him, we have to let him land. He's got diplomatic immunity. Maybe he wants to discover us for the Tsar. Crazy Russians. No, Isabella, like this. Watch me. Bate. Bate. You put your energy into the chocolate and it brings good luck to those who drink it. Isn't that right, Mama? Si, Concha. You better whip like crazy. We need lots of luck today. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. Oh, Dios mio, your father picked a fine day to go visit the governor in Monterey. Men, always somewhere else when you need them. But, Mama, we are so lucky. It could have been pirates on that ship. Or those Yankees who want to make everything part of the United States. Who is this man, anyway? He's a famous explorer on his way around the world. Luis says they call him the Columbus of Russia. Oh, he must be very brave. And I hope he's handsome. So do I. Oh, I'm sure he's been to Paris and maybe even Madrid. Oh, how I would love to see Madrid and visit the Palace of the Tsar in St. Petersburg. Cook, right now you'd better concentrate on being here in California. I hear them outside. Quick, get the children ready. Oh, oh Holy Mother, por favor, let the chocolate be hot and let the children behave. And oh, Holy Mother, Keep Brother Diego away from the table. Your Excellency, may I present my mother? Doña Ignacia Moraga Arguello. Transmitie. It is honor, Senora Arguello. Welcome to our home. I'm sorry that my husband, the Commandant, is not here to greet you. As soon as he returns with the governor, we will have a grand fiesta in your honor. <laughs> but now, siéntense, por favor, siéntense. My children have prepared something muy especial for you. Welcome to California. Uno, dos, tres. 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 Uno, dos, tres.
in uh, Spanish California. His Excellency wishes me to tell you that in all his travels, he has never had a more warm or hospitable welcome. Muchas gracias. De nada, senor, de nada. This way, please. I must return to duty. It is such a beautiful day. Let us ride out into the hills and look out on the bay. Santiago, can't you see how busy I am? <coughs> Luis and I are in charge until Papa comes back. There's so much to do now that the Russians have come. Ah, the Russians. If I were the king. Well, you are not king. So let me tend to my duties while you tend to yours. Mark my words, Diego. 
His Excellency had come here for more than hot chocolate. I don't know what it is yet, but he's up to something. Excellency, uh, we would gladly provide you with all the livestock and grain you might need. But regrettably, our king forbids us to engage in trade with any foreign powers. His Excellency wishes me to tell you that while it is true that we cannot take up any formal trade with you, uh, he sees no harm in presenting gifts to his known friends. Uh, we have brought just a few of the treasures from our good ship, the Juno. Toast to new friends. Like us, far away home, no women. To motherland, Nazdarovia. Nazdarovia. Uh, uh, blessings upon our new friends from across the sea. Salud. 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 Well, here we sit between the bull and the bear. I hate the taste of this vodka. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a pint at a Boston pub. What are we doing here? And how did we end up with these crazy Russians? Shut up and eat. You're gonna need it. And no, lay off the vodka. Excellency, we are not so different from priests, but still, we Russians have the best of it. We think so, Lieutenant.
away. With that much to drink, they will sleep all day. The vodka will help confuse these crazy Russians. By the time they come to, we'll be far from here. It's easy to see when the coast is clear. We'll head to the south and loot these crazy Russians. We've got to get out. We've got to escape. We've got to jump ship before it's too late. We'll hide in the dunes. We'll camp in a cave. We've got to get out of here. We've got to move now. The timing is right. I'm telling you now, it must be tonight. We must take the chance. The moment has come. We've got to get out of here. and I would like to help you and your expedition in any way that we can. We admire your courage. It takes nerves of steel to sail around the world. Senores, on behalf of the Tsar and my ship's company, spasiba, uh, muchas gracias. <laughs> I think our countries can be great friends. Si, si, Excellency. Tomorrow we talk politics. Tonight, we dance, eat, drink, and enjoy. How about that? Musica. What about that?
Oh, mother. Oh, holy mother. He is so brave and handsome. I have to find out everything about him.
If you put them in the hole, they will just find another way to escape. Take them to that island. You know, the Spanish will call it Alcatraz. <laughs> we'll pick them up on our way out of here. But Excellency, enough! Dismissed. Who is this girl who disturbs my concentration and destroys my sleep? Some call her an angel. Some call her a saint. Some just call her a beautiful girl. Here in the garden, we call her Concha. Concha. myself and Concha. Pajalsta, uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> How can I know her better? How can she know my heart? <laughs> senor, senor, little by little, poco a poco, like we say here. You must get to know the whole family better. You have a ship. We have a beautiful island of angels out in the bay. Why don't you take us on a merienda? Si, si. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What is a merienda? Senor, a merienda is a picnic. A picnic? Take picnic. us on a picnic. Da, da! I have to plan a picnic That's on right. Island of Angels. Can I tell you That's what? great. That will great. Tell you what Absolutely. Thank you very much. Lots of people are blonde. It's such a nice change. <laughs> what are you wearing to the picnic? Oh, I don't know. Dimitri says. <gasps> <laughs> Lieutenant Davida says it will be cold on the ship. Oh, Concha, can you believe we will be on the Juno sailing to the island of the angels? 
It seems like a dream. Oh, Bella, it is a dream. I think Lieutenant Davidoff has his eye on you. And I think we both know His Excellency has his eye on you. Oh. <laughs> talk some sense into her. Don't you see what's going on? I see he's filling her head with champagne and caviar. <laughs> How can you compete with that? As a matter of fact, for some of that, I'd follow him to the Summer Palace myself. I... Are you loco? You want your sister to live in Russia with some broken down explorer? Why don't you let them spend so much time together? I always see them walking around. And she even rides into the hills with him. Do you honestly think Concha is all he wants? Oh, come on. Brother Diego's always with them. Besides, she's just teaching him a little Spanish. Spanish? I'd like to teach him a little Spanish. He's teaching her, and I doubt that it's Spanish. And what's worse, he's going to break her heart. All he wants is trade. He wants California, and he's using Concha to get it. Perhaps. Ah, uh, you know I'm right. Someone's got to stop him. The, the picnic will be any day now. His Excellency is just waiting for the wind to be right. This is going to be a million to remember. You know, he has been at the palace of the Tsar and he has tasted many delicacies. He's Cici. so refined. Sissi, my friend. But I wonder, has he ever tasted this one? <laughs> Simmer for hours. The ingredients chosen without an exception, the best. Success will depend on one's culinary power. And before it is done, one by one, shall be put to the test. Most essential of all is one's skill in the art of filleting. A superior blade combined with an expertise. And although you may see that simply goes without saying, the devil of the flavor comes from the cut of the meat. <laughs> fricassee of his excellency. Fricassee of his excellency. And how to be hid, senor? <gasps> Begin with one aged and arrogant Russian explorer. The seafaring type will produce the desired result. Season the broth of the medals he is wearing. Some hot in his peppers, bathed it in garlic, hope till I mention the salt. The meat should be braised in the hot pot of humiliation. You can bathe now and then with some of our fine Spanish wine. Uh -huh. And although you may feel just a bit of trepidation, a rag of chiplets offers a flavor divine. Bring us in! I'm perusing. It's an image I find appealing. I wish. Make a scene. Excellency, 
Nikolai Petrovich Rezanov. He's pleased to invite the governor, the commandant, his family, the garrison. Distinguished guests at His Excellency's request go sailing on the sea. By order of His Excellency, Nikolai Petrovich Rezanov. Dona Ignacia cannot join us on our happy expedition. The view is something to behold. I'm afraid the crossing from Spain closed the book on seafaring for Ignacia. She says she would rather have triplets than ever set sail again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amigo. I think the Russian bear is about to be awakened by the Spanish bull. Senor, I'm wondering if the sword is just another decoration. It would be an honor to be your opponent in a demonstration of your Russian technique. <laughs> si, senor, I have learned a few tricks from the Tsar. No doubt, here in California, you have developed a quaint style of your own. <laughs> Perhaps it's time for a bit of cultural exchange. <laughs> I had no 
idea a Russian bear could move so fast. Obviously, senor, you have never been chased by a Russian bear. <laughs> Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, we thank you both for your skillful display, but the women are starting to get a bit nervous. Oh. <laughs> si, senor, si, senor, why don't we take a walk and enjoy the views of the presidio? I'm told that, like, nowhere in the world. Why don't you take him, Concha? Yes, yes, let's enjoy the views of the presidio, right? I'm just going to take a nap, right? <laughs> This necklace belonged to my mother. I want you to have it. I never imagined I could fall in love like this. I thought all my life it would be an endless lonely voyage. But with you beside me, it will be a journey of heart. Oh, Concha, Gracipaya, you are so beautiful. Your bialy blue. I love you, but please, marry me. Oh, see, si. see, si, Nikolai. Yes, I will marry you. Concha, can you see? Did I miss anything exciting? Ah, well, it was a day to remember. The crossing to Angel Island was breezy but smooth. Even your delicate stomach would not have complained. And that was no peasant picnic the Russians prepared. Very impressive. Brother Diego... Wait, wait, don't tell me. Ate enough food for three? <laughs> Your report on the outing to Angel Island. And be brief. I'm a busy man in the service of a <coughs> busy god. <laughs> Do you, yes, yes, your holiness. Well, the voyage was pleasant with wonderful views of the procedure. 
And the food? The food was... I am not interested in the voyage, the vista, or the menu, Diego. Is there anything significant to report? If not, you may retire to your bed and leave me to my work. And the children? It must have been very exciting for them. Oh, yes. The children were very excited by the sword fight. The sword fight? Between Santiago and the Russian, the children were very entertained. Oh, Dios mío! I warned you about that, didn't I? Santiago is very jealous of the Russian. I had a feeling they might come to blows over Concha. Ah, well, these things happen. Uh, I wish Santiago had proposed to her before that ship ever landed here. Now, Ignacia, calm down. The Russian is an honorable man, and may I say, quite courageous. He's a man of means and, and vision, ideas. And as for proposals, well, perhaps a marriage between him and Concha could be a good thing. Not just for her, but for Spain and California. Why, if they were to marry, we would not just have a son-in-law, we would have a trade agreement. Ah! What do you think, Ignacia? Oh! Well, man, speak up. But yes, Your Holiness. Well, there is uh, one thing, not a small thing, but perhaps I think a good thing. What is it? Well, it's just that he's such a brave and powerful man that anyone can see that he loves her. And I know that he loves, that she loves him. And, 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 and it's only natural they will want to be married. Well, today was a good day to ask her. And your holiness, it will be a good thing, not just for the girl, but for Spain and for Holy Mother Church. What do you think? What do I think? You need to ask me. I am her mother. Just what do you think? I think you know this means that he will take him. He'll put her on that ship and not to Russia. What will we do then? She'll be lost and gone forever.
beg God to forgive you for being such an idiot. And know this, Diego, if you dare to break this fast without my permission, I'll put you on an Alcatraz with those damn Yankees. Now get out. <laughs> that your excellency understand every word I'm about to say. My decision affects not only Concepcion's future, but the future of Spain and California, and dare I say, Mother Russia. Because your excellency is Russian Orthodox and Concepcion is Roman Catholic, special dispensation from the Pope is required before a marriage can take place. Furthermore, I have decided, because Your Excellency is a member of the Tsar's royal court, political issues must be addressed. Therefore, I have decided that you must also obtain permission from the Tsar and the King of Spain. Do you understand what I'm saying? He requires me to go to Rome, Madrid, St. Petersburg? Is this what he is asking me to do? Yes, Excellency, that is it. Exactly. Does he know a journey like this could take two years? His Excellency understands, Holiness, and wonders if he realizes that such a journey might take as long as two years. No. Nikolai, don't let them do this to us. I beg you. Papa, this is not fair. Two years. How can we wait that long? We want to be married now. Please, Papa, talk to Father Orea. Oh, me, yeah, my face is blue from talking. We must do as the priest tells us in this matter. We must obey Holy Mother Church and the King. Please, Walter, try to understand. This is something I cannot change. Why not, Papa? Why can't you change it? You are in charge here. We are in love. We want to be married. Please, Papa, this makes no sense. 
Nikolai, you must do something. You must make them change their minds. Please, I beg you. No, Concha, I cannot. Senores, now we can get on with business. Concha will come to her senses soon enough and the dancing will begin again. <coughs> now that your betrothal to my daughter is official, Excellency, we can talk about those trade agreements in earnest. Welcome to the family, Nikolai. I don't know if painting looks like me, but maybe it will remind you while I'm gone. Oh, Nikolai, it is a wonderful likeness. I will pray for you every day. Concha di spuce
Nikolai, please come back to me. Concha, you are too young to cry so much. For a year you have been brooding over him. It's too much. Come to the fiesta tonight. You know how everyone loves to see you dance.
has already claimed many of Russia's strongest. You must not continue your journey tomorrow. You are too weak to get up on the back of a horse. You must rest a little longer, maybe just one or two more days. Excellency, I am serious. This could kill you. Doctor, you made yourself quite clear. And I do appreciate your concern. I absolve you of any blame to tomorrow's ride through Beethoven. But in the meantime, would you please excuse me? As you wish, Excellency. As you wish. <coughs> I tell you, if he rides tomorrow, that pretty girl in California may have to wait forever. You must stop him. <coughs> Excellency, please. The doctor is right. What difference will one more day make? All the difference. We have to stay ahead on the ice. We must move on. We can wait no longer. Excellency, we must wait till you are stronger. Nonsense. We live at fun. Have the horses ready. But, Excellency, the doctor's orders. I can always hear. We must move on. Please, listen to me. Surely by now, if the Russian were coming back, you would have heard. 
He would have written to you, sent some message. I'm sure that he has written to me. I write to him all the time. But since the king allows no one safe harbor, just how would a letter be delivered? Let me see. Perhaps a pirate could bring it sneaking in here in the dead of night. Or maybe Nikolai could send it carrier pigeon. Oh, you are all the same. You don't believe he really loves me. Well, you are wrong. All of you! I only know what I can see. And all I can see is big concepts, is you. And the truth is, I love you. I would take care of you. I'd be your traveler, dance and close by your side. Since you cannot love you, is very serious. It's hard to know what did more harm, the fall from the horse or the kick from the horse. Either way, he's in grave danger. Ah, uh. oh, His Excellency has something he wants to say to you, Lieutenant. Yes, Excellency. I promise. finished. Not quite. I promised His Excellency that I would somehow get this locket back to Concha, so she will know he did not forsake him. I wouldn't worry too much about it, Lieutenant. I'm sure she stopped waiting long ago. And by now she's probably already married someone else. <laughs> <laughs> 